Good morning. Hello. How are all of you today? Happy Sunday. I'm just checking to see if I'm live in the right place. Let's see if I can find my video. Make sure my volume's turned all the way down here. How are all of you today on this beautiful Sunday morning? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Jenny. Thank you guys so much for sharing. I am a few minutes late today. Can you believe that? I was like racing the clock. Like, ah! <laughs> Hi, Patty. Good morning, Trisha. All right, you guys. So happy Sunday. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I go live every Sunday to bring you super fun Stampin' Up! products and show you how we can um, share the joy and creativity. And I have some cuteness today to share with you um, called the Full of Happiness stamp set. And I know it looks like a little crazy, scary monster here in the picture, but when I put this little guy together, you're going to fall in love with him. So good morning, hello everybody. While I am talking with you, if you would please hit that share button, uh, I will enter you in for my door prize. I give prizes away every week. Um, I have a Stampin' Up! Or a celebration stamp set called Well Dressed. This was a celebration stamp set that um, we can no longer get. It was only available in March. And so I have everybody's name in here that shared last week. Thank you so much, you guys are awesome. And I have to draw a winner. Let's see. Who's it going to be? Stacy Bianchi. Stacy, congratulations, my dear. This is all yours. I'll put it in the mail to you. Congratulations. And thank you so much to everybody who shares. This week, I'm giving away a bundle. Whoop, whoop. So I have, and I don't know if you guys... Um, you guys have seen the sending sending flowers dies. So like this cutout that cuts this cute little circle. Um, the sending flowers dies and the coordinating stamp set that goes with it called sending you thoughts. Uh, super, super cute. So this is the bundle I'm giving away when you hit the share button this week. So make sure you hit share. Thank you guys so much. Alrighty. I have a lot to talk to you about. There's some new things I'm uh, happening. Um, the first is, and I posted it this morning, you might not have seen it. Good morning, everybody that's popping on. Um, but I posted uh, this awesome collaboration that I started with with four other fabulous stampers. Uh, we're all part of the Sweet Stampede under Erica Serwin. And we got together and we made a PDF tutorial using the retiring um, in colors. So the retiring in colors are that blueberry bushel, the uh, grapefruit grove, pineapple punch, call me clover, and lovely lipstick. So those are the five retiring colors. Um, they will be available while supplies last or until Mar uh, May 31st. So what we did is we came together, we created three projects each. So, so this PDF tutorial is 15 projects. Um, and so this tutorial is full of new, of the in color uh, projects. We've got 3D projects, we've got cards, we've got rainbow projects. It's gonna be so much fun. That tutorial is yours for free with a purchase this month of $35. So you know how I always have a free gift when you place a $50 order with me? I'm giving away the blend storage this month using my code. If you place a $35 order, you get my tutorial. If you bump it to 50, you get the tutorial and my free gift. So lots of free stuff in April. You're gonna love that PDF tutorial. You're gonna freak when you see it. 40 pages of awesomeness. Um, and I'll give you a little sneak peek of my project. So um, speaking of that full of happiness stamp set, this is my rainbow project using all five in colors. Look how cute he is. And then I have another um, card using, I was assigned blueberry bushel. And so I made the card and a 3D project. How cute is that? Look at that little basket, so fun. So those three project tutorials plus what? Uh, I have to do math, 12 other projects for you with a $35 purchase this month. So it's a ton of free for uh, for you. Um, so that's really excited, called the Sweet Stampin' Connection. 
Um, and then I also am working on my next class, which I will be hopefully posting today. Um, it's called the Fancy Fold Ladybug class because ladybugs are so fancy and so they need a fancy fold. Um, so it's four fancy fold projects with a video um, tutorial, a PDF tutorial, product from Stampin' Up, and the four projects, plus a special surprise gift from me, a little thank you gift. Um, I'll show you. This one, I had a lot of requests for making it, and so I turned it into my ladybug fancy fold. So here's the front of it, and it opens to adorable little ladybugs. That's one of them. Um, I have this other one. Have you ever made a diorama card? So it looks like this, but then when you open it, it's 3D. How cool is that? I have another fun little one here where she's like little Miss Lady. Hey, lady. And then the sentiment changes when you open the card. So lots of fun, fancy folds. Like I said, there'll be four projects plus a special gift from me. Uh, $27 for that class. It is a to-go class, so it mails directly to you. So it's $27 plus shipping. And if you don't have the Ladybug stamp set and bundle, I have um, limited uh, supply of bundles that I can sell um, with that class. So um, there's only five. So the first five people that want the bundle with the class, you can have that as an add-on. So details to come that will be posted today, but just wanted to let you know how to get that. Now, if you're on my team, I should have said this. If you saw, if you bought the starter kit from me, you are getting that frequent shoppers discount and all the perks that come with it. You get my um, Stampin' uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Sweet Stampin' Connection DS uh, tutorial for free. You get my tutorial for my, and video tutorial for my Fancy Fold Ladybug class for free. And there's also a price for that class for my team. If you just want the make and takes, you can buy the product yourself. Um, it's $15 for the make and takes. So lots of perks for me on my team. I like to spoil you guys rotten. Okay, so that's pretty much it for me. I'm, I am working on Bunko. So I have, um, I'm going to do two different bunkos at two different times. I'll do a Wednesday night and a Saturday morning. Um, so you'll get to choose what bunko you want to do. Uh, if you've never played bunko before, it's super easy. Just go look up the rules online. It's super easy. It's just rolling the dice. Um, it's limited to 12 people. So there's 12 people in a group. Um, when it's full, uh, there will be no more tickets for that time available. And um, $20 for bunko, you get three make and takes and you get to play six rounds of Bunko, no, four rounds of Bunko, and I have five prizes to give away for Bunko. So super, super fun. Um, and then I just finished Bingo, which was a blast. You guys were awesome, I loved it. And um, I'll probably be designing another Bingo for me. So that's it, that's what's going on. All right, you guys, I'm gonna turn this over so I can show you guys the adorable projects for today, okay? Hang on just a second, I gotta cover you up so you don't get seasick. And now that I say that, I can't find my sticky notes. Oh, there they are. We'll see if the sticky note actually sticks. It usually just falls. All right, here we go. While I'm doing this, you guys can hit that share button. Uh, share this and get entered in to win my free bundle. Let's see, what else? Hmm. Just turning all these little knobs. When I do this, I always have to, it always takes a second for me to find for the lag between Facebook and the camera. There's a good like solid 30 second difference. It's crazy. That's too close, let's see. How's that? Looks like I need to move it over a little bit, don't I? Oh no, the other way. It's hard to see because I still don't see it on my, on Facebook Live. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's see how that does. That looks pretty good, right? The lighting's kind of bad. Bad lighting is my middle name, apparently. We'll see how that does. Okay. 
All righty. Woohoo. Did you guys have a fun ride? <laughs> Here are today's projects for you. I am using the adorable Full of Happiness stamp set. And I absolutely love this set. It's so cute. Um, I love the egg. I love that it coordinates with the dino dies. Have you guys noticed that? That they coordinate with the dino dies. I'm trying to find them. This little die here in the dino set cuts out this egg perfectly. And it cuts and it cuts right around that impression and right around the lines on the outside. So this is awesome. I love when Stampin' Up! does that and they coordinate with um, other sets. So the dino dies are, are a little coordination for that. Um, at first I thought this little chick was so freaky looking, but he's so cute when he comes together. So I have three projects today. I have an Easter project. I have a fun, just make you smile project. And I have a cute little baby shower project. Okay. I know we're not doing any baby showers at the moment because of the quarantine, but someday life will get back to normal. And these will be cute little favors, but it would also make a cute Easter gift as well. Alrighty. So first one here is this cute little Easter treat. So this is a mini treat box. These are the clear, I think they're called tiny treat boxes. And it has a little chick there and there's some grass around it and then a whole box full of chocolate eggs. How cute is that? And the little sign says, may your Easter be full of happiness. So I made it look like a little wooden sign. Um, this would be a fun little treat to give out at Easter or leave on someone's doorstep or add into your kid's um, Easter basket. So this is a super cute little project. I'll show you how easy that is to make. Um, the next project, like I said, was this um, little box or this bag. I made the bag, see here, and I put a little Easter chick on there. Now this is a great sentiment for a baby shower or for um, a baby card. Um, and look at the little chick. I love how his little feet are sticking out the bottom of the, the egg. How cute is that? Like it's just hatching. Um, and so I'll show you the little trick to do that. And then inside I put a bag of Hershey Kisses. And it's quite a few Hershey Kisses. Like it's a nice size bag. So this would, like I said, would be a great party favor um, to have for a baby shower, a party, or even just for Easter. And I use that um, seaside spray. The blue is the seaside spray, which is an in color. And I thought that was a really cute baby, baby color. So you can see here. So we'll do that one. And then this one just made me smile. This one just brought made my day. It's super cute and cheerful. And look at the egg. It's wobbly. I made the egg wobble. I love this so much. It's so cute. And I love the um, Rococo Rose. It's another in color um, with that pressed petal designer series paper. So this is just a bright, cheerful card um, and a little wobble. It says, you always brighten my day, which I thought was such a cute sentiment. So I used all three sentiments in three different ways. May your Easter be full of happiness. Here's to a new beginning. And you're all, you always brighten my day. So we have three fun little projects. Now you can always get my projects for free with a purchase this week. Every week you have until Friday to place a $35 order on my online store and I send you all the supplies you need to make these projects. You just have to have the stamp set and any dies that you need um, to stamp and then cut out, okay? But I do all of the work for you, cut, score, everything and uh, even give you like the little packages that you need and uh, you're all set to go for some cute crafting. So if you have questions about that, always let me know. So the first thing we're gonna do, I think, is our, make our little egg box here. So I have everything in this little tub. So we have these tiny treat boxes, these clear tiny treat boxes. They come flat like this and they have a little clear plastic on them that's like a protective covering so they don't get scratched. So this cute little box. And then I, the way that I put this box together is I kind of like fold all of the, the, the lines because the plastic is kind of stiff and so you need to kind of work it. If you try to do that when you're building the box, it's a little bit diff more difficult. So doing it ahead of time before you fill it with things tends to work better. So the way that I put the bottom of this box together, it's super funny and hopefully you guys can see in the camera. Where do you get the wobbles? I ordered the wobbles online. The dies are the dies are still available. Are you talking about the Dino Day dies, Feline? 
it do, it's not too difficult to fussy cut at all. Definitely, you can just follow that line. Okay. Um, so to put this box together, I picture this box. So the top, so if you guys can see the top here, the sides and the bottom. And the reason I have that is because these look like feet to me. This looks like the head and these look like the arms. So I'm gonna tuck and roll this guy. I'm gonna tuck in his feet first then tuck his arms over to hold his feet up. And you just put them in the little slit there. And then last but not least, you tuck the head in like so. And that you have a nice solid box. So that's kind of the way that I have figured out how to put these boxes together. I'm gonna fill this box with a bunch of chocolate eggs. Of course, I had to sample it to make sure they weren't poisoned, you know, they were delicious, by the way. So these chocolate eggs, I think I got these at the Dollar Tree. I may have gotten them at Walmart, I can't remember. I buy so much candy for little treats and packages, I can't remember where they all come from. Now, the other thing I did was I used the, um, friendly silhouettes I think it's called let me let, let me double check I should have had that ready for you yes friendly silhouette dies and it has the grass it has the palm tree it has the dragonflies which somehow ended up in the front and then it has these tall grasses so this is flowers and this is just grass um, so I just took this on a piece of eight and a half by you know you don't need a lot obviously you could even do it like at two and a half inches but you're just going to cut some of this grass out. You need it the length of eight and a half inches. So this is Granny Apple Green cardstock. We're just gonna run this through the big shot. You have to run it through twice because it's not long enough to run through once. So just give yourself a little bit of, I'd say about a quarter of an inch at the bottom and make sure that your end goes all the way off the side. That way it cuts all the way through. Uh, get my plate. So we're gonna run this through once. Yeah, that's the way I've always pictured it, Trisha. Isn't that funny? But it's how I remember to put those boxes together. Okay, I'm sorry, my whole desk is shaking. I know that's like, it's like earthquake. You guys, I know I'm having a big shot earthquake right now. Okay. So I'm just putting it at the end of where it stopped cutting and I'm going to cut it all the way through. My camera mount is on my desk and anytime my desk is moving, my camera is shaking. So we just craft through earthquakes here at my house, no big deal. All right. So now we have our grass and we have to kind of get it get it separated from the cardstock. So I'm just gonna run my Big Shot um, die brush through just to make sure all the pieces are punched out and then just carefully separate it. And I gave myself a lot of extra green here, but that's okay. When you see how easy it is, we wrap it around that box. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so let me take my wraps out of here clean up my workstation okay so on the back side on the bottom we're gonna put a whole strip of tear and tape Janie my craft room is coming along I'm getting really excited we ordered some um, things to build my desk over the weekend so it should be here on Tuesday Jose says we're gonna get me some new blinds this week. So I'm excited, slowly but surely. Fortunately, I got paid from Stampin' Up, or I'm getting paid from Stampin' Up this week. And so I can use my um, money there to pay for the furniture, so I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna just glue across the bottom of the box and just fold over and just, oh, there's a little inside piece here and then just fold over like so, okay? And then on this side, same thing, fold it over and fold it over. It will overlap slightly, okay? There we go. Now, we have our cute little grass around our box. How fun is that? It looks like a little nest, doesn't it? Like a little Easter nest in the grass where you would like collect Easter eggs. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to stamp this cute little chick. So adorable. 
It is a three step process, no, four steps, I lied. Four step process to stamp our chick. So the chick has the body, the beak, the eyes, and the feet, okay? So there are four pieces. You need three colors. You need Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Stays on Black Ink. So for the body, that's the first thing you stamp, the body. For the body, you're going to stamp in Daffodil Delight. Right about the middle of the card is fine. Okay, so now we have this cute little little chick body. And I love the way it stamps. So it looks kind of ugly in the stamp set. But when you actually see it with ink, isn't that body just super cute? Look at all the little detail. It looks so fuzzy and fluffy and cute. Okay, I know it doesn't have eyes or a beak yet, so it looks weird, but it just looks cuter in once it's stamped on paper. Now I have pumpkin pie and I have the little chick feet. So I'm just inking those up. And I'm just gonna stamp at the bottom of the chick, like so. All right, then I'm going to do the beak in pumpkin pie. Now there is, and I don't even really know how to show you this, but there's this little slit inside the beak, maybe on the, oh, on the stamp set, you can see it better. See this little slit here? That's the bottom of the beak. So you want the slit to be on the right side when you stamp, okay? So you wanna make sure you have that lined up the correct way. All right, so here we go. Now, if my head gets in the way, I apologize, but I wanna make sure I have it lined up over the white. Now, that's why I love that this is a photopolymer stamp because you can see through the block to where you need to stamp. Okay, so that's it for pumpkin pie. Now we're gonna use stays on black ink and stamp the eyes. So get those nice and inked up, line it up over your chick. This is the hardest part, I would say, is the eyes. There we go, look at how cute he is. Look how cute he is when he's all stamped. Okay, so now we get to fussy cut him out and it's super easy. And I was thinking too that you could also put him, if you didn't want to cut out his whole body, you could put him in a little egg. He could be in a little egg, how cute is that? So, but I had him, I had him just, he's just a free chick in my in my version just a free little chick so we're gonna just fussy cut him out real quick he's not hard to cut at all look at him he's just smooth lines except for his feet so just quickly cutting around his little feet Now I'm not the best cutter in the world, so forgive me if it looks like a kindergartner did it, but we are our worst critics, aren't we? We probably all think we have the worst cutting skills. Okay, so there's our cute little chick. How adorable is he? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him in the front of my uh, card here. Now you can do that. I did it with dimensionals on this little guy, so we'll put him on dimensionals. Aw, thanks, Janie. She says, I'm her favorite chick. Yes, this chick is free range, uh, Cindy. I don't believe in, in caged chicks. <laughs> this little chick is in training to be the Easter Bunny. Have you ever seen those Cadbury egg commercials where other animals are trying to be the Easter Bunny? Or it makes me think of, what's that movie, Hop? Where the evil chick tries to be the Easter Bunny. He kind of looks like the evil chick a little bit. So there's our little chick. He's on his he's on his grass. And then what we can do is I have pieces to make a cute little Easter sign behind him. So I took a piece of crumb cake and I just cut it into a little board. And then I have my little stick that it's going to be on. But what I did to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic is I embossed it with the wood plank embossing folder just to kind of give it a wood grain look, which I'll do here in a second, but first I want to stamp the sentiment. And if you'll notice, the stamp, 
the sentiment is really just one long word, but I sh cut it in half to make it shorter. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna take my stays on black ink and I'm gonna stamp just the first half, May your Easter, right across the top, like so. Okay, and then I gotta clean it off just with a baby wipe or with chamois. And then I'm gonna stamp the other half be full of happiness and we'll stamp that right down below okay so now we have it set up with two alrighty so then what we can do is emboss these with our big shot and that pinewood plank embossing folder now with the pinewood plank embossing folder you need to have the regular plate, the wood plank embossing folder. We'll put our pieces in here to be embossed. And then just one plate on top, one clear plate. Uh-oh, you have a low battery? Go find a plug-in, hurry quick. You don't want to miss all the cuteness. All right, so take this little out. And I love, I just like that, that detail. Look at that little detail, just the having that, um, you know, wood grain look. Okay. It's all in the details, right? I'm going to use glue dots to put this together. So I'm going to put glue dots on the stick portion. Like so. Oops, that was too low. Good thing I can move these. All right, so I'm gonna put this across. And then I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of the sign because it's going to glue to the box. Thank you, Cindy, for sharing. Thank you to everybody who shares. All right, so. I just need to move his little cheeks and put that back behind him. And there you go. You have this cute little Easter box. How fun is that? Little box of, of Easter eggs. Oh, well, we got to give him his little bow tie, don't we? I can't forget the little bow tie. I did a little double bow that time. I think I'll do a single bow this time. Good morning, good morning to all of you joining me. We are playing with the cuteness that is the Easter, the happy, full of happiness stamp set. Making some fun treats. I'm just putting a little bow on this little chick. He's gonna be in his Sunday best. Cause Easter is always on a Sunday. I remember going to church and then when I get home, I got to do an Easter egg hunt. How cute is that? Look how adorable he is. So fun. Okay, so that's project number one. Project number two. Let me clean up my mess here so I can get my bearings. Okay, project number two. We're gonna do this cute little, where did he go? Is he hiding? Ah, right here in front of my face cute little treat box or bag with the Hershey Kisses in it. And it has the little bow here that we tie. And this holds the front flap down. So if you have to hold it kind of down. And tie your little bow. Now I wish I had had the Seaside Spray um, ribbon for this little bag, but I didn't. So. The organdy, not the organdy, um, the crinkle seam binding whisper white ribbon works perfectly well. Okay, so what you need for this project is a piece of thick whisper white, or you can use any color really, and it's cut at eight and a half by six, and then I scored it. So on the on the long side, excuse me, I scored it at 
three inches, four inches, seven inches, and eight inches, okay? And then I took between the one and, I put the ruler between the one, the one inch on this little skinny side, and I scored it half an inch down, but I stopped before this score line here. So this score line is done at the five inch mark. So this is a one inch score line right here. So I stopped, and what that is, is I just needed a crease here in the middle to help the bag fold. So I did a half inch score line between this one inch here and a half inch score line between this one inch here. And uh, so now what we're gonna do is burnish all the score lines. So just folding along all those score lines. Now the ones that I did in the middle, those ones are gonna go the opposite direction. And you just wanna score, you don't wanna score all the way. And then this one, and so this one needs to go the opposite direction. Okay, so now we have this little bag. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off this bottom little rectangle here completely. Just take that off completely. This is going to be the tab that we glue to the bag. So you wanna miter this edge as well so that you have a nice clean bag when you put it together. This bottom tab here, you're gonna cut straight up and then miter the tab itself. So you want this piece to be straight, but you want this tab to be mitered. So cut straight up here, cut straight up here, and then miter this tab, if that makes sense. It just helps make a nice clean bag. All right, so then we're gonna put tear and tape on this strip here to build our bag. So cute, Debbie, that would be a sweet little surprise to, to leave on somebody's doorstep. A little thank you gift or thinking of you gift. You could put a few rolls of TP in it if somebody needs some TP. Okay, so I'm a big believer in putting these things together flat. So you just fold over one end, fold the other end flat, and just glue that together. Now, because this has the seam here, this is gonna be the back and this is gonna be the front. Now, before I build this box up, it's always easier to glue your DSP down when it's flat. So I have a piece of this, this is the Seaside Spray Designer Series paper. This is part of the 2019-2021 In Colors DSP pack. So I'm just going to woof, adhere this piece down to the front panel. Okay. And now we can put our box together. So again, this is the back. So we wanna fold the two sides in. We wanna fold the back side in. And then this is the front. So we want the front to be the last thing we fold in. So while I am have it over here, I'm just gonna put some um, liquid glue around and glue that bottom piece. Okay. Now we can fold in the sides and you've got the start of an awesome bag. Cute, right? So now we have to take care of the lid part. So for the lid, or for this flap here, I cut a piece of the layering ovals. So I cut a piece of Whisper White in the scalloped oval, and then I cut a piece of the designer series paper in the regular oval. And the reason, and the, the determining factor was the size of the oval. I needed an oval that went from side to side. So I just found an oval that matched, okay? So an oval that was large enough. So we want to glue this DSP oval on top of our scalloped oval. Like so. And then the one thing I did was I took my um, scoreboard or my, my trimmer, both I guess, and I put this little um, oval in the center and I just lined it up. So I lined it up between the, one, this is obviously two inches wide or tall. So I put it between the two one inch marks. And then I just scored it across. Thanks, Cindy. Okay, so then you just fold that in half and now you have a lid. 
So I'm going to take one half of the lid and I'm gonna put liquid glue, um, liquid glue in the back and I'm just gonna glue it to the back of the bag. Okay, and we just, because it is liquid glue, we gotta just sit here and hold it for a second because we want it to be nice and strong. And while that's gluing, I'm just gonna set that aside and let it finish. While we do that, let's go ahead and stamp our chick again. So let me get a baby wipe and just clean these guys off because we wanna have a fresh start. We don't want any goopy ink or anything like that. And that especially happens, I notice, with stays on. Um, for the eyes, if you don't clean the eyes, the stays on off the eyes and you keep re-inking re it, it gets pretty goopy. So of all the ones, I suggest you really clean the um, the eyes. Okay, so let's do this again. Same color scheme. Uh, Daffodil Delight Chick. Oh, this piece is a stitched rectangle that I just cut out that would fit on the front of my bag. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that part. I just cut out a whisper white um, stitched rectangle. So we are going to stamp our chick here up at the top. Now this, this little chick, if you noticed, I have the feet coming out from the bottom of the um, egg. So to do that, you actually have to create space between that chick and his feet. Um, so there's gonna be a gap, which is gonna look really funny. It's gonna look like I don't know how to stamp, okay? It looks like I missed like, um, you missed the mark, Tiffany, but I did this on purpose so that his feet will stick out below the egg. So just stamp down below, like so. So you can see there's a nice gap between his feet and his body, but that's important, we want that. Oh, let's go ahead and do his beak while we have the pumpkin pie out. And just gotta line up over the white, there we go. And then his eyes in stays on black. Now I have noticed that there is a right and wrong way to stamp this. Um, this eye is slightly larger and it looks more like a triangle to me. So if I bring that up to you, can you guys see the difference how this is a little bit bigger and more shaped like a triangle? This side is the right side eye, okay? So when I flip it over and I'm gonna stamp it, the larger eye is on the right side. And we're just gonna go over. Who knew he had different sized eyes, huh? Okay, so I'm just gonna clean that off again because like I said, it gets gunky if you don't. So there's our little chick. Now I am going to stamp the egg and I have, I have an egg cut out. I just don't know where it's hiding. Here it is. I'm gonna have to cut out another egg too, but we'll use this one that's already cut out for this one. I'm using that striped egg pattern that's on that stamp set, I love it. And I'm using the Seaside Spray in color ink pad. So we will just ink that up. Now these in colors, the Seaside Spray and the Rococo Rose and all those, they last for another year. They're good for another catalog, but the, um, 2019, tw no, 2018, 2020 in colors are gone. They're gone within a month-ish, month to two months. So, um, and I love those in colors. Our group, our, our sweet Stampin' Connection, we were also sad. We were talking about how much we love these colors and just sad to see them go. So if you don't have them, if you don't have the ink, the ink refill, the DSP, the cardstock, all that stuff, the ribbon, you'll wanna get that because it's gone in the new catalog or before it sells out. Okay. Now it's time to glue our little chick, our little chick egg here over his body. Isn't that cute? So now his little feet are hanging down. I could have even made him taller. This one's a little bit taller. You can see a lot more of his legs are showing, so his head is higher up at the top. So I could have even given myself a little bit more space, but he's just a little bit shorter than his brother. He's so cute. All right, the sentiment that I'm using is says, here's to a new beginning, which is such a cute little you know, baby shower sentiment. It could be for any occasion that's new, exciting, but super cute here. So I'm gonna stamp the sentiment towards the left this is about five, uh, this is about 
Yeah, it's about half an inch. Half an inch by three-ish. I'm just guessing. You just need a strip, a skinny strip of DS, or cardstock, and you're just gonna do, and we're gonna do a little cheat dovetail here. This is the lazy dovetail. Okay, so that's gonna go across him, like so. But before we do that, before we glue this panel down, we actually need to wrap it with some Baker's twine and tie a bow in the front. So we'll wrap it twice. Smart, Susan. Very smart. Use whatever grass you got. I'm sure there's lots of fun different dyes that could could have that have grass in them or could be used as grass. Or if you have those old um, grass scissors, you can make your own grass. What I don't know what they're called. They're not called grass scissors. I can't remember what they're called, but you know the ones that that cut all those little pieces. Okay, so we've got our little bow. I'm gonna slide it over to the right side a little bit, and I'm gonna glue this on to my um, bag here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for that a second. So the next thing I'm gonna do now that I've got this dry and it, I, I'm confident that it's dry, I'm gonna take my piercing tool and I'm just going to poke a hole in the middle of my lid, and I'm trying to poke between the lid and the front panel but not all the way to the back panel so now that I've gone through the lid I can see that I've kind of gone through the front panel just want to poke it all the way through so I have a nice mark there and then I'm going to take my 1 8 inch hole punch and I'm just going to line up over that hole that I poked on the lid and inside the front okay so that when I fold it over they line up or they're supposed to line up. Mine don't line up that well, but <laughs> it's okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of this um, crinkle seam binding ribbon. I'm gonna fold it, fold it over and I'm gonna just push this end through the hole here to the inside. And then I'm gonna tie a knot. And I noticed that my knot needed to be pretty big, so I had to kind of double knot. So I did one knot, and then I did another knot on top of it, just to make sure it was nice and big enough, okay? So that knot is gonna be on the inside, and it's just gonna hold that piece together. Now I'm gonna cut off enough that I think I can tie a bow. I'm gonna take these two ends and now I'm gonna push them through the front of the lid here. Actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and put the package of Hershey Kisses inside because it's a little bit more work to try and get them back out. So I have, these are the little, um, little bags. Let's see, I have a package of them. Stampin' Up! sells them. They're three by six gusseted cellophane bags. They're super sturdy, like really thick and not cheap like the Dollar Tree. And they're really cute and they are nice size to hold a bunch of little chocolates. So I have these um, Hershey Hugs with white cream centers. They're kind of yummy if I do say so myself. And I love that the blue ones um, kind of match the seaside spray. The purple could be purple posy. You could do, you could make purple ones if it's a girl and blue if it's a boy, if you're doing these as party favors. Cute, cute. So just fill some, some Hershey Kisses inside there. And then I just folded this over. You could staple it, you could tie a bow, whatever, but I just folded it over and stuck it inside the bag. And see how nicely that fits in there? So now that I've gotten that in there, let's go ahead and put these little ribbon ends through. I just love this baby chick, you guys. I just love him. I know some people say they don't like the realistic um, images, but <laughs> this chick is kind of cute. I mean, you gotta admit, it is kind of cute. I saw Shelly um, from Stampin' Up, she 
she created with this set at on stage in in November. And I remember ahead of time when we were looking through the catalog and stuff, I was making fun of it with my friend Lisa at the other table. I was sending her pictures like, oh my gosh, you're going to win this for <laughs> the prize. You know, we always tease each other about what set we're going to win. And we always pick like the ugliest one we think out of the catalog. So anyways, um, then Shelly creates with it. I'm like, dang it, that's so cute. <laughs> Ate my words. So definitely looks freakier on the stamp than it does in person. It's just a cute little chick. And I like that you can use it for babies. You can use it for Easter. So this part right here of tying the bow while this lid stays flat is a little bit tricky, but I think I got it. Now you could also use a Velcro dot. You can do all kinds of things, but I just did a little bow. All right, now let's go ahead and put this these dimensionals on the back. I don't know if Lisa's watching, but she probably remembers me making fun of this set and now she's gonna be like, you hypocrite. <laughs> I was trying to tease her about it. She goes, it's kind of cute. I'm like, no, but it is. It's super cute. I have fallen for this little chick. I keep using it. I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> so this little bag is so perfect, right? It's like the perfect size bag for like any treats. And, um, you know, beyond and beyond a baby shower treat or an Easter treat, you can use this bag for anything. Okay, so, and I'm actually proud. I kind of created this myself. Like I figured out the dimensions and everything myself. All right, so we're just gonna slide this in and just center it and glue it down like so. Perfect. Now I have the little sentiment that we stamped and cut earlier. I'm just gonna glue that across my little chick egg right below the bow. Cute. Nope, don't glue to the bow. So fun. Look at him. He's so cute. I love this little bag. Very, very fun. It's so cute. Cute is the word for this week's stamp set. All right, let me clean up after myself. Hopefully you guys liked that project. And we're on to our last one already. I can't believe it. Okay, so while I'm doing this, let's talk about the virtual... Um, Virtual stamping group or whatever you want to, virtual crafting group, I think is what I called it. The virtual crafting group. I am trying to go live every, every week on Zoom where we can all get together and craft together. So today I have one scheduled for 11 a.m. my time. So right now it's 8.50 my time. So 9.50, 10.50, so two hours and 10 minutes from now. Set your alarms. And you can join us for a virtual Zoom meeting. So, and I usually like to keep it between an hour and a half to two hours long. And you can come, just pop on to Zoom, video chat with us, craft, show what you're making, share something fun. Uh, it's just a great way for us all to chat together. Um, now, Zoom has made some changes. So before you could just use my link and get in, but now it's requiring a password. So because Zoom got hacked. So Zoom, I need to go in and find out what the password is for my, my meeting and I'll post it in the event. There's an event on my Facebook page. Uh, it's called Virtual Crafting Group. If you go in, the link to the Zoom is there. You need to have Zoom downloaded either on your phone, your iPad, your computer, whatever it is you're gonna use to virtually chat with us and, and craft with us. Um, but you need to use that link have Zoom downloaded already, and then I will give you the password. I'll post it in the event, okay? So at 11 o'clock my time this morning, Pacific time, um, we'll do virtual crafting for about an hour and a half to two hours. So I'll get to see all your guys' faces and talk to you. Okay, so hopefully, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to watch the comments for the questions. Okay, so here is my cute little You Brighten My Day um, project. As you can see, the little I made the little uh, egg wobble, which is just so cute. This brightens my day. That's why I used it with this sentiment. I just love it. So I'm using Rococo Rose, and I have a piece of the Pressed Petals Designer Series paper. It's so pretty. Even this side is gorgeous. But I love the I love the pretty flowers on this side. So this is going to be the front of our card. Now I cut out a, this is Rococo Rose, I cut out a nested stitched label here in Rococo Rose. 
which I have not done yet. So it's the largest nested stitch label. And then the second largest is going to be out of Whisper White, which we'll stamp our little chick on. So we need to do that now. And then I also need to cut out another little um, egg. So I'll get my dino dies, get my little egg, and we'll cut one of those out as well. Get this all done at once. Okay. So let me get my big shot. Okay. We'll cut out these two pieces first. Just do it at a diagonal, make sure I've got it all on there. You want me to use the other side, Janie? Okay, I can do that. Janie wants me to use the other side. You can still order it, Jenny. You still have until the end of May to order this cute chick stamp set. It is not a celebration item. Okay, so then this little label. Hi, Anne. Hi, Chris. Hold on for the earthquake as we <laughs> big shot these. Woo! I'm sorry it shakes my camera so badly. All right, that's it for the big shot work. So we've got our pieces here now. Janie wants me to use this side of the paper, so I'm gonna use this side. So we're gonna glue this side down. I love those pretty petals, those flowers. It hurts me to, it hurts me to glue them down. So hopefully this is fairly centered. Now before I glue it down to my base, I want to make sure I tie my ribbon around it. And all the measurements, um, Ashley, are on my project sheet. So if you need the measurements for the bag, they're over there. So now I'm gonna tie a bow here. And I kinda of want my bow to be sideways, so I'm trying to tie sideways. And of course it's not doing it. Not behaving. Okay, so I need to just cut this end off here. I'm just trying to fuss with it, get it going in the direction that I want. Okay, and then I'm gonna just push it over to the side, like so. Now we can glue it down to our base. Yeah, the chick stamp is in the mini catalog. Okay. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, so now we can stamp our little chick and stamp our egg in Rococo Rose. So chick, again, is Daffodil Delight. Okay. And then... Feet and beak are in pumpkin pie. Now when I did my um, my uh, oh, Stampin' Connection, Sweet Stampin' Connection projects, and I did my chick in the in colors, I used pineapple punch and um, grapefruit growth. So I used in colors. How fun is that? And then the eyes are in stays on black. Wanna make sure I've got them lined up. There we go. 
If I can do this, you can do this. If I can line it up, you can totally line it up. Okay, and then we need to stamp our egg in Rococo Rose. He's so cute. He, she, I think it's a she this time. And see, I can even cut your egg out for you and you can just stamp your egg. And then I have um, the sentiment, you always brighten my day. I'm gonna stamp that on a scrap of Whisper White. If I can find my scraps, I don't know where I put them. Just get a scrap of Whisper White here. Just stamp my sentiment here. Woo! Like so. I got butterfingers today. I'm just dropping everything. Okay, and then we'll cut that out here in a second. Let's go ahead and glue our little chick. down to the nested label, and then let's put our wobbler on our egg. So remember our egg is wobbly. So these are the larger wobblers. I don't know the size, but they're bigger than the ones I've used in the past. So we peel off the front portion. There's paper that you have to peel off that reveals some sticky stuff. Okay, so that's gonna be what goes on our egg here. So it goes on the back of our egg and then peel the backing off of the back side. And glue it over our chick. And again, I made his little feet stick out the bottom or her little feet stick out the bottom. How cute. Okay, so now we're gonna cut our little sentiment. And I just cut it into strips. Just fussy cut them out. So you always brighten And since you're cutting them out, you could also do them in different colors. You can make brighten in pink or yellow or some bright color. And then my day. All right, so let's go ahead and glue our label on and then we'll glue the sentiments on. Oh yeah, he needs some rosy cheeks. So she needs some rosy cheeks, huh? Let's do that. I'm gonna take the light flirty flamingo and give her some little rosy cheeks. Aw, so cute. All right, let's go ahead and glue our sentiments on there. And this is just supposed to be at any time, any occasion, just to make somebody smile. So fun. I love this little chick. This chick makes my day. So cute. So there's the pink versus the flowers. How cute. Oh, I love this week's projects. I love this stamp set full of happiness. You guys gotta get it. It's so cute. Let me get my other projects here so you guys can see what we made in case you just popped on. We have our little Easter treat. We have our baby shower party favor bag or bag of Hershey Kisses. And we have our little wobbler chicks. So cute. You guys, thank you so much for joining me for another fabulous week of crafting. I hope I get to see all of you at 11 a.m. Pacific time for some Zoom much needed crafting socializing <laughs> fun. Um, so thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next week for more projects. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye.